Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install R on a USB drive. The benefits of this are that you can take this USB drive uh, to any Windows based machine because we're going to install it on a Windows based machine and basically just plug the USB in. The uh, Windows based PC does not need to have R installed on it. Uh, I've tested this so I can vouch for this working on Windows 7 Pro, Windows 7 Home, and uh, Windows XB Pro. So uh, it's it's pretty robust. And on top of it, um, you being able to run R, you'll also be able to install packages into your library, which will be situated on the USB drive. So you could take your library your library with you, your library of packages and your working directory. So if you want to import data sets, uh, you have a dedicated folder there that won't move around so that you can import your files with ease. And you can also export your files into the same working directory with ease. So starting up and kind of saving your work and ending your work session, your R session, will be as smooth as possible. Okay? Um, so let's get started. So I'm going to open up my uh, Firefox here and I want to first download um, R so the latest R so let's just go to let's Google R CRAN I'll show you how I got here um, CRAN is of course the comprehensive R archive network that's where you'll find the latest version of R click download R here and let's download this file so click save I've actually already downloaded this but you should download this it'll take it's just it's about 50 megabytes it'll take you a minute okay once you have the file <clears throat> I have it here on my desktop plug in go ahead and plug in a USB drive okay as you can see I have recently formatted this drive so it's nice and empty okay so that's connected double click the installation let it run <clears throat> click OK next next now this do not hit next here this is gonna by default want to install the file on your programs fo folder on the cur current computer you're sitting on do not install it there browse and find your USB drive so I just plugged in this drive so here it is so I'm gonna install R 3.12 on that drive for me it's the E drive okay it might be totally different for you hit next uh, leave all these checked if you have enough space this is the 32-bit version the 64-bit version so newer newer systems will run the 64-bit and older systems will only run a 32-bit. So on my XP machine, 32-bit um, works. The 64-bit doesn't work. So if you install both, you'll have two versions, and you can uh, run the newer one when you sit on a newer machine that's 64-bit, and run the older version if you happen to be sitting on an older machine. Okay. Uh, you can leave this as default again. So we do not want to create a shortcut on the start menu so just make sure you check this because it's not checked don't create a shortcut menu uh, don't create a start menu folder sorry next um, you can uncheck create a desktop icon you can uncheck all of these okay so make sure all these are unchecked all right, and this uh, the installation actually takes a little bit longer than it would if you were installing it on your hard drive, only because reading and writing to the USB is probably, uh, as expected, going to be a little slower than reading and writing to your hard drive. So, so while this is going on, you can I'm just going to pause it and then return when this phase is done. Okay, so. Um, it finished installing and I get this screen you'll get the screen click finished alright so that phase is done now um, open up the folder where your USB drive is so here's my USB drive you see it was it was completely empty before and now I have this the R folder okay so it's installed now 
All right, it, uh, there's a couple tweaks we can do to make this a lot uh, kind of more easy to use. So right click on this in the empty space here. So I'm in my USB drive, okay? So I'm looking in my USB drive. Right click, go over to new. We want to create a shortcut. We want to make it easy to kind of um, double click and open up R. So let's browse. We're going to browse my USB drive. So where am I? Do, 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 do. My computer. Here's my USB drive. So in the USB drive, we're going to go into the R folder that we were just looking at. Right, so here's my USB drive. So I'm going in my R folder. In the then we go into the bin folder. Then in the bin, we're gonna first create a shortcut for the 32-bit version of R, which will work on older machines. So let's do that. That's in the I386 folder. And what you're gonna find is R GUI. So don't choose any of the others. R GUI click OK. So again, that was, here's the path. That R folder that we were just looking at, so here it is, the one that's sitting in my USB drive, right? Then the bin folder, then I386, then find R GUI. Okay, when you find all those, hit Next, and you could call this one whatever you like. I would call it R32 bit something like that so you know that this is the 32-bit version okay finished and you see I got a little icon here kind of like how this looks yeah. I don't like how that looks either nor that okay either way so I'm still in my USB drive so as you can see I have now if I could uh, uh, a nice icon where as soon as I plug in my USB drive I can just double click and open up R. And so let me just get this to fit on the screen here. And so you see how quickly this opened. So how do I know that this R is sitting on the USB drive? Well, we can see here that if I get my working directory, my default working directory, get WD, you could see it's on the E drive, which for me was the USB, right? See, that was my E drive. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so I could work in R here, and then anything I do when I leave will, and I save will be back on my USB. Let's also make a shortcut for the 64-bit version. So again, right-click, open, shortcut, browse. Again, computer, USB drive the R folder, bin, this time 64, then, then find R GUI, okay, next, I'm going to call this one R 64 bit, or 64 bit version, finish, now I got two shortcuts on my USB drive, and if I want to, if I'm sitting on a newer machine, like I like I have, I am most of the time, I'm going to use 64-bit version of R. Okay, and as you see, it looks pretty much the same, right? Over here, you see it's the 64-bit. Let's quickly check the working directory. You'll see it's also the default working directory is on my E drive, which is right now the USB. Okay, let's quit this and close this out. And let's do one last thing. Let's make our working directory somewhere more easily reached. So let's create a little fo another folder here. So we're going to create a new folder and call it whatever you like. I'm going to call it R files. You could call it R data, whatever you like. This is our working directory where we're going to place our data sets into. Okay, so when we need to read them in, import them into R. So this is where I'll just place some some mock data eventually and we'll test it but we need to kind of tell both of these versions of R to look to this folder by default to make our lives a lot easier so how do we do that well let's start with the 32-bit version just right click on it 
go down to properties so my properties might be cut off so let me pull this up so you can see right click go all the way down to properties okay right here is where you want to paste the path of this drive okay so let's actually close this out let's get the path of this drive first okay so how do we get the path of this drive just click on the drive of this folder sorry the folder that we just created we need the path so just click up here in a blank space copy okay control C now right click on one of the icons go to properties go to start in and paste okay R files okay so E it should be something very short like this alright so let's do that one more time double click this folder click on the blank space copy that go back right click properties start in paste here that was smoother okay apply okay do the same thing for the 64 bit right click properties start in paste so basically we're pasting the file path so R will look to this folder by default whenever we try to import new data okay make our lives a lot easier apply okay so both of these guys now both these versions are set up to look into this folder by default so this has become our working directory okay let's test that that's worked out so let's open up one version here get WD uh-huh perfect so that's where it's gonna always look by default so we won't have to type a long file path okay let's check the other version get WD in the 64-bit version it's looking into the same folder that's great okay so no matter which version of R we use they're both gonna look into this folder when we want to import data so let's just do one last thing and let's test importing data okay so let me throw some data that I happen to have into this drive so <clears throat> so I have this data set it's a CSV file heights okay and it's sitting inside the R files folder let's check okay you can kind of download a, or put any file you like in here to test it out it doesn't have to be this data set okay so I have data here now in my R files folder okay now let's import that in and see how easy it is okay so I'll use the 64-bit version because I'm sitting on a newer machine so get WD one last time okay perfect it's looking into that folder so now for me I can do read.csv and just name the file without having to specify a long file path like documents and settings, etc. etc. Right? All I have to do now is specify the name of the file, which was heights.csv. Of course, you have to put it in quotes, and it would be good to assign it a name enter you see no error message the data has been read in let's just check the structure of the data you see it's perfectly been read in so that's working perfectly okay and the same will go for the 32-bit version alright so what's the moral of the story here this what we're looking at here is my USB drive okay if I sit on a computer that has no has never had R on it never been installed on it I simply plug in my USB drive and open up my um, open up the drive and I'll be able to double click either version of R and I'll be able to start working any data that I happen to download while I'm working on that uh, in that session I can throw it into my folder I can easily import it into either version and when I'm done and I take my USB with me my data also comes with me so everything's nice and neat okay 
And over, all in all, I think um, as far as space, um, it used about 100, 100 megabytes, something like that. Okay, so these days, 4 gig, 8 gig, um, 16 gig uh, USB drives are pretty common, so this won't affect your um, USB's uh, memory much. All right, so I hope this was helpful. I recommend you do this if you're moving around to different workstations and you want to keep your work with you uh, nice and organized. All right, till next time, have a great day.